Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. So today we're going to have a look at some cases for the Raspberry Pi Model 8 Plus that came out last week. There's various different cases already available. Uh, one which already existed was the Syntec case, which was originally designed for the Model B Plus, which fits snugly in there. The A plus also fits in quite well. It gets a little bit drowned by the case. Quite a lot of space there, a bit of height that probably isn't necessary. But if you've already got that case and you've got an A plus that needs a home, certainly an option. Of course, there's always the option of having it completely without a case, naked. The only thing to watch out for is that when you're uh, putting it down on a desk or something, you don't want to be shorting out the contacts and the pins and various components, so it wouldn't be very wise to put it down on a bunch of keys or on a pile of coins or something metal. Always want to make sure there's something non-conducting underneath it, but other than that, Naked Pi is a perfectly legitimate choice. Now one of the things that is new about the A Plus is you can fit it in an Altoids tin. People have been asking about that since the Pi first came out. Does it fit in an Altoids tin? And the answer is, well now it does. Look at that. I haven't cut holes or anything like that yet, but you'd need a hole here for the HDMI and a hole here for the power, and a hole here for the uh, composite and audio. And if you wanted to use any GPIO, well I guess you could get access to that row of pins without any problem, but that row of pins would require some sort of a case mod. So, it's quite nice to keep it in, but I'm not sure how useful it would be to actually use it in one. Also, you've got the other kind of tin, Alternative brands. Don't say we're biased here to Altoids only. These are the same size and shape of tins. Slightly different. Quite nice colour scheme. I like them. Anyway, these are the mints that I can buy near me. So that's what I tend to buy. Another option, which is a very nice option, is the Pibo Royale A+. This is the Pimeroni laser cut acrylic and it's really very, very nice indeed. Look at those labels on the, uh, on the GPIO pins. Isn't that great? Love it. Very nice case. It's quite a slim design compared with some of the older IBOs for the B and the B+. There's also uh, a bunch of 3D printed cases that people have already come up with. Uh, Dave Hunt in Ireland. He's the guy who does a load of camera stuff, which is very clever camera hacks with the Raspberry Pi, and he also did the Pi phone. Well, he's into 3D printing now, so he's done a 3D printed case. Mike Redrobe's done one as well, and so has Graham Taylor. So there's already a, a bunch, there's probably even more that I don't know about yet, of people who've done 3D printed cases. For the time being, I've got one of my A pluses in the Pibo. One of them's living in a tin, and the other one is naked. Well, I hope you enjoyed the little rundown we had of A plus cases for the Raspberry Pi. This was Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.